He's white. He is pretending to be black. Course, yeah. Like he is absolutely Wait, for he's one. actually pretending to be black. He is pretending to be black and he's white. And everyone Wasn't it, there like a woman who did that too? Rachel Dolezal. Okay, so I do know who she is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rachel Dolezal. That's who we're that's exactly who Look we're at talking that. about. Yeah. Do you know who Rachel Dolezal is, Gabriel? No idea. Oh my god, this is the best. See, it's like it's like doing a podcast with an alien bit that, <laughs> that like not an alien, but like someone who is completely outside of right wing YouTube. Like, cause you are in right wing Instagram, Instagram mm -hmm. right? Like you show me things that are so, it's almost like the brain works differently, you know? Right. Cause like right wing Instagram is like these, these little ideas that can be shared in a single image where right wing YouTube is like all these very well thought out, well structured and, and supported See, things. My brain works in 15 seconds to one minute increments, yeah. which is why I don't even really consume long form content, which is the irony of what we're doing here. But, I know you love it. Uh, it's not and that I like love it. you like to get it. engrossed it in something for a long amount of time and be able to really dissect and nitpick the, or yeah, nitpick things apart. You're all, you really like to know about what you're talking about. It's like, yeah. I go and I, see, th okay, this is how I it, like digest my quote unquote news. Mm -hmm. I get the original story, like highlight, you know, um, kind of clip version of it on Instagram and then I go and I actually read like I go read news articles and news sources like that's how I get my information because I like fast like I want to see the headline and the little bits and then I want to go speed read an article like that's so you don't want to hear a smart person like talk about it and that be your source like because they if, they show the article they're if like I can fast forward it <laughs> Like if I can put it on two X speed, I listen to like I am listening to people talk all day long. It's what I do for my job. The amount of voice memos I get, the amount of time, and you live with me. That I ha yes, the amount of time that I have to sit and listen. I don't do it voluntarily. That's Be fair. That's fair. Yeah, because you involuntary have to listen to me all the time. And I am spitting I facts. I like listening to you for the record. All the time. Mm -hmm. I like listening to Candace Owens. Oh, I thought you were going to say me. That was going to be really sweet. But of no, course I Candace. like listening to you. But I like listening to Candace too. Yeah, Candace is Candace. sharp. So Rachel Dolezal is an example of someone who 100% of anyone that's in the, that's like in the, and when I say right wing, I'm, we're not right wing. We're the, whatever Joe Rogan is, that's we're like what we middle are. right. We're like Joe Rogan, you know, which we used to be Democrats and we now we're not. We forgot to change our sign again. Yeah, that's right. We used to, we're the used to be Democrats. We're Russell Brand. We're Joe Rogan. That's who we are. Yeah. You know, and uh, so anyone in that crew knows exactly where Rachel Dolezal is because she is in Apparently the, I'm not in that crew. Well, I'm going to teach you right now. So in the cent, you know, like the, the, in the middle of the most hyperbolic woke moment when they were attacking everyone, right? Like where, okay. where they had full power on Twitter, they were canceling people. They were whatever, 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 whatever. There were all these organizations okay. that wielded tremendous power. There's a guy, um, whose name is escaping me right now, but he is uh, Sean King. His name's Sean King. He is one of the premier BLM influencers. Great. Okay. He's white. He is pretending to be black. Of course, yeah. Like he is absolutely for Wait, he's one. actually pretending to be black. He is pretending to be black and he's white. And everyone Wasn't it, there like a woman who did that too? Rachel Dolezal. Oh, okay. So I do know who she is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rachel Dolezal. That's who we're, that's exactly who Look we're at talking that. about. Yeah. So like Sean White, it's it's like absurd because or I'm sorry, Sean Sean King. I was gonna say his name is Sean White. Shut no, no, no. Up. Sean Isn't King. That the snowboarder? This is him, and this is like this is the best he can do. Like that's him pretending to be black. He's not black. He is. I mean, he's do, he's not doing a terrible job. He kind of looks like iced tea, you know. Maybe a little bit. Oh, he's white. Are you sure? It's absolutely confirmed. His parents have come po gone forward. It's like, Shut up. yeah, he is definitely not black at all. Now, okay. Now, serious tangent. If people can identify as different genders, isn't that oh, allowed? To I mean, we've had like, is yeah. he now black? We've had if this conversation millions of times on the right where it's like, why can't we just identify as being a different age? I mean, I identify as 21. So I'm, I guess I'm cool with that. If, if that's what we're doing, your booty is eternally 21 years old. Bounce a quarter off that fucking thing. But, um, but yeah, so Rachel Dole is all, that's who she is. And that's why she's famous. Okay. And but she, I want to see her now. She was the president of the fucking ACLU. Okay. Or NAACP, I can't remember. Uh, one of those, one of those ones. One where, of those ones. Oh, okay, she's number one. And um, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I know exactly who this girl is. Yeah, yeah. This is, you know, like so. There you go. That's Rachel Dolezal, and that's <laughs> also Rachel Dolezal. 
Uh, just so oh, everybody. Oh, so you know, good. They. Oh wait, hang okay. on. Okay. This this is Rachel. Oops, hang on. Boop, Get it together. Oh, wait, which one's the right one? Oh, for the love. That's it. Just go scroll down. There we go. Hi. Wow. That's me on the left, and that's me on the right. How I'm. Did she get her hair so perfectly permed? Because she went to her, you know, her. That's like. She went to her person was like, make me black. Give me some beautiful ringlets. You know, what's crazy is that. That's funny. Okay. You don't need to, like, if you really want to be down with black people without being a phony ass weirdo, mm -hmm. you can just be yourself and yeah, that, go and talk to them and demonstrate yes. that you understand like them as people. And you want to know what the worst way to do that is, is to Pretending pretend like to you're black them. and then, and then like, and then have a conversation with them on literally the most superficial stereotypical nonsense it's like it's like dylan mulvaney pretending to be a girl it's like oh my god it's my second day of being a girl and look i'm wearing high heels when i hike and oh my god i'm scared of a bug it's like that's not what being a girl is you fucking idiot like you think for the girls... record i am scared of certain bugs but sure, so yeah. am i <laughs> jesus i mean so am i man so yeah i mean like that's what that looks like to me it's like they when the it's ones, insulting it's absolutely insulting. Yeah. they pretend to be black and then they they become you know ah, la, la, la. and it's like dude you're just do you're, you're not doing this for any genuine reason yeah like, you're why, not helping anybody either why would you need to pretend to be black if your motives are pure you know what I mean? Like, if you really want to help black people, why does that require you to be black? It means it's about you. That's like the number one giveaway right. that what you're doing is actually about you and it's not be about a them. a form of, um, what's it called? Munchausen's. No, Munchausen's not right. Um, not not Munchausen's by proxy, like actual Munchausen's where you make yourself sick for attention. Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah, 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 totally. They, um, like... <laughs> I, I I just was doing this uh, on my other channel where I was talking about how um, is it? I mean, what's the right way to put this? I don't know. Let's say that you married a star athlete. Here we go. You were an aspiring celebrity. Okay. Can you still kind of have pure motivations being with them if you simultaneously very much and very obviously want to leverage the fact that you're married to them to make yourself into a larger public figure. What was the original part of the question? Can you what? Like, can you, can it still be kind of like an okay, you know, like can. Yeah, I think so. You can both love someone and use them at the same time. I don't know that it's necessarily you. It would depend on how you do it. Let me show you. I'll show you exactly what I mean. So this is an this is a obviously it's a really old clip because this is an evergreen video. Uh, there's nothing recent about this. I don't even remember when this we was. We just learned about it. We just oh, learned this. about it, but uh, this is something that happened one time. So, um, okay. So this is what this is that you're looking at right here. Okay. Is the prayer before the fight? Okay. So Ian Gary was going to fight the following night. I can't remember. Are we when talking that about was. his wife? Yes. So. She's something else, but yeah. So they were going to, like, this is the prayer before he fights. His fucking life is on the line, right? Her life is on the line. This is a. I learned all I needed to know about this girl when the camera panned to her at that fight. That is. I learned true. everything I needed to know from that three second clip. I know. And I fucking. I was nice to her in my video that I did because the wag book really was a joke and all I felt right, kind of guilty. Let's see what she did. So let me just put. This is their team praying. Yes, before, I got that. Okay? Yes. She did. Also, who's filming that? Think it's the X, maybe? <laughs> maybe. Think that's the X, maybe? Filming that? Maybe. And also, like, this is a moment that is... This is really heavy right here, dude. Like, yeah, this you're is not like, smiling and like this is playing that, it up for the camera during this that is, moment. That's yeah. so heavy, dude. Like that yeah. is like you, your fucking life is on the line. Your team that has trained you, you guys are all together, and you're like you're all focused in the same direction. You're praying. Yeah. You want to know where all of your energy is? Yeah. Okay. Not 
the camera behind not you. Not positioning yourself in between the camera and yeah. the fighter that you happen to be married to and then making sure that they zoom in on you and then zoom out. That shit, it, I saw that and I was like, all right, I'm not giving her the benefit of the doubt anymore. I mean, to play devil's advocate. Give it to me. One could also make the argument that that's what's happening at this moment because you have a very successful channel of your own and here I am and we're making one together. This is my idea. Right, but I'm saying like... How are you using me if I... It but was I'm my just idea. saying that that... I'm saying that it's not necessarily using that video that we just she, saw is there's nothing genuine about that. It's usury. Yeah, but I, I do think that there are couples who are together and one of them has extreme fame and the other one probably has a little talent too and was chasing after something and can be lifted from the other but sure what no i i agree so i 100 percent agree that that's video not it that's not that is yeah. is shows what's actually happening sure. like that video i was like oh now i see what this is yeah. okay like there's no more benefit of the doubt for her with me uh, after as I that said video. that one clip of her like at the camera, yeah. I was like, ooh. Okay, but the reason why I would give her the benefit of the doubt on no. that particular one, I'll just, let me explain. No one has taken more shit from the MMA community so than her. So smile and stand I know, but flat. like, you can see how someone would be, have like an anxiety attack. My default that, wouldn't be tongue out and a wink. Okay, yeah, that's okay. weird. Okay, <laughs> like I might get kind of embarrassed and maybe like put my head down and look away from the camera and clap. It wouldn't be tongue out with a wink, okay? Yeah. Thanks for hanging out, you guys. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, and you'll know next time me and my beautiful wife put out more episodes of Play With Matches.